A robbery ends in a horrifying shooting in Lincoln Park, leaving a man fighting for his life. CBS 2 has the video that shows the ambush at Webster and Wayne around 3 a.m. CBS 2's Lauren Victory has been following the story. She spent the day tracking down footage and talking to neighbors. Lauren. Jim and Marie, we've watched this video multiple times, and the more we, we review it, the clearer it becomes. As the victim was on the ground, the shooters were repeatedly demanding his phone password, then shot him. A white car rounds the corner of Webster and Wayne. We sped up the video to show what happens next. A man hides behind a building, peeks out, then jumps out with a gun pointed. The victim hands over his belongings almost immediately, but those are dropped to the ground. Apparently, the shooter wants something else, possibly a phone. The victim starts to give that up, then fights back. You can hear the commotion. Someone starts to scream. Not long after, a second person runs from the white car and pulls out a gun. The struggle continues. We froze the video, but you can hear another shot, then moaning and more gunfire. By that time, I hear bam, 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 about that fast. Reed Fellers was running outside to help. Hours later, he was still processing what happened here. There's a man groaning on the ground. You know, and his backpack and his shirt are up, and there's no exit wounds, and there's blood. He wishes he could have done more to stop the shooters. He roared right past me as I'm coming this way. I had every chance to get in my van, pull it out, and block him. Uh, that didn't occur to me, and I'm reliving that. The victim shot out here is out of surgery, but unable to communicate at last check. And get this, I spoke with Alderman Brian Hopkins, who says he's been in communication with Chicago police and DePaul University police, who believe the shooters from last night may be responsible for a robbery of a DePaul student, also in the same area around the same time last night. That person wasn't hurt. I'm Lauren Victor, reporting live in Lincoln Park, CBS 2 News. Indeed horrifying. Thank you, Lauren.